Morning, friends. Happy Sabbath. Glad to be with you in prayer this day. We're going to finish out the week with some prayers that begin with uh, quotes. This day we're going to offer a prayer about power, and I'm going to begin with a quotation from President Barack Obama. To those who cling to power through corruption and deceit and the silencing of dissent, know that you are on the wrong side of history, but that we will extend a hand if you are willing to unclench your fist. Let's pray together. Heavenly Father, as we gather in prayer this morning, we pray for ourselves and our neighbors in the world. We begin with prayers of thankfulness for all that we have received, for all the blessings in our lives. Today, as we pray, we pray about the concept of power. We see the exercise of power, or in some instances, perceived power, all around us. We recognize that the exercise is not equitable and is often not just. We pray that we exercise power in just ways. We pray that we be guided to love. We pray that we be guided to see one another as individuals. You have said that the first commandment is that we love one another. Help us exercise our power in the promotion of love. Amen. Our reading is from the book of Isaiah, from the 40th chapter. Have you not known, have you not heard, the Lord is the everlasting God, the creator of the ends of the earth. He does not faint or grow weary. His understanding is unsearchable. He gives power to the faint and strengthens the powerless. Even youths will be faint and be weary, and the young will fall exhausted. But those who wait for the Lord shall renew their strength. They shall mount up with wings like eagles, and they shall run and not be weary. They shall walk and not faint. Friends, this is the word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. Have a blessed day, and remember to love one another. Happy Sabbath.